You say, you take your compass and you go, well, pastor, my compass, I don't think my compass is lying to me. You know, it's kind of like north is kind of north. I mean, it's a general direction. And plus, I, I showed it to some of my friends at, at, at work. And their compasses are pointing the basic general direction my compass is pointing in life. Yeah. And, and I showed it to my boyfriend, and, and we were talking, and both of our compasses are, you know, are basically pointing the same direction. And, and I, showed it to the, I showed it to the guys at school or the girls at school, and their compasses are all kind of, you know, there's a little difference, but basically my compass is going kind of the, di- the same direction as everybody else. Standing here in Palm Desert, California, your, your compass is missing true north by 590 miles plus. You say, well, 590 miles, 18 degrees, that's not too bad, is it? Well, if you were trying to reach Palm Desert, California, and you were off by 18 degrees, you would end up really close to San Antonio, Texas. That's where 18 degrees. Now, I didn't figure that out myself. I had to have Aaron, our engineer, do it. (laughs) I went to school this week, but not that much school this week. If we missed it on the other side, 18 degrees, we'd end up in Salt Lake City or close to it. What am I saying? A little degree here and a little degree there can make a huge difference in your life. I was reading a story. Uh, Bethany told me about a story, and I did some research on the story, and it's an old story. It's about a man, an explorer, back in the old days when explorers were explorers. And he was known for exploring in the wilderness and and doing maps and charting and exploration. And he, he was the kind of guy that could head out through the wilderness with a with a compass and a, you know, pocket knife, and he could survive for <laughs> forever. And he was supposed to go on this exploration and come out at a certain location and meet up with a, a camp of explorers at a certain time, and they knew he was coming. Eventually, he, he didn't arrive. And they, for, at first, they're not worried about it. There's a, there's a time frame that you expect someone to make this kind of a journey, Eventually, he never showed up, so they went looking for him, and they looked, and they looked, and, you know, they they just couldn't find him. Couldn't find him. He was so far off his destination, and and this really bothered people. They found him him dead with his compass. They couldn't couldn't understand how this man had, had, he was a seasoned veteran of exploration, and he knew about a compass. How can this man get lost, and, and it cost him his life? Now, I tried to do some research to find out it's believed. Well, eventually, and, I don't, and, and this is some more that I couldn't find out all the details. But eventually they found, and I don't know at what point, but they found that sewn into the, the glove of this explorer, these aren't the original gloves, these are reenactments. <laughs> sewn into one of his gloves was a magnet. Someone had sewn into one of his gloves a magnet. Now it said that it's believed it was his wife. (laughs) So what can we conclude from that? Men, if you're going to go exploring, check your gloves. If your wife has been been playing with them at all. And the man has his compass. His compass is not broke. His compass is working. But something pulled it off of true north. So what happens at that point? Every decision you make, every navigational decision you make is now wrong. It's now wrong. And it costs this man his life. You cannot trump, trust a compass once it's been compromised. You can't trust it. You can no longer trust the readings. You can no longer trust the adjustments. You might as well throw it away. Because it's not, it can't be trusted. And the Bible tells us that there are magnetic elements, spiritually speaking, in this earth that have the ability to pull our lives off of true north. 